today. However, when you look down at start list, you will notice some big names further down through the race field. Eric Avancini, the man who took the win in the marathon championships, is in here. We've got uh, Philly Kirsten in here. We've got uh, Koreski in the mix as well. Can't ignore the fact that Sam Gaze is down sitting 20th on the grid and that is the defending champion the 2022 champion 20th on the grid because he's not raced now big names that are at the back of the race field would you see matthew van der Poel take to race start now as we came into the studio there's been no official communication whether he's going to take to the start line or not rumors were circulating that he may not take to the start line. we have to uh, see and just look at every country bus cannot see him at the back of this race field and it means peter sagan will be the last man on that race field the riders are lined up ready they will be set off on the a green light at the top let's see who's going to go out on the course we don't know how many laps these riders will do yet we will find out and Sagan is in there if Van der Poel was on the line you would know about it the cameras would have been on him already so not taking to the start line but the riders who are are now ready to see who will take away the iconic rainbow jersey So off we go, this start is going to be absolutely critical. This is the biggest field of riders I think I've seen in a XCC anywhere. The short track explosive start is key. Schwarzbauer coming out from Germany right up there in the front. Sagan already making places around the outside of the turn. Now this course is a much shorter course effectively. It is a series of right-hand turns. It is a clockwise course overall, but we've got all the usual twists and turns as you would expect. And as you can see, as I come around, certainly using the full width of the track. But at the moment, that is going to be Schwarzbach, who's leading out. And uh, already you can see these riders really pushing up from lower down in the race field. They all want to be right at the front. If you're at the back, you are going to be stuck in traffic. And that is what is faced by riders like Tom Pickup, the Olympic mountain bike champion. The man who's uh, come across uh, to contest the mountain bike. And uh, it's the Olympics that uh, is the reason that Sagan is racing. He wants to race in those Paris Olympics on the mountain bike. Having finished his road career now, the congestion here uh, is uh, going to mean that riders are not able to take that optimum line through here. They're going to have to work out where they're going to go. There is one really fast line. If you go offline, it's just tricky. You can just see coming into that tight corner. Two riders coming in. One dive bombing up the inside and goes wide. Really tight on there. But we are seeing, and now that changes. We see the Olympian come up to the front. Martin Blooms takes the race, the lead already coming up and to the front, just watching these riders come around the top of the hill and start to snake the way around and down this descent. And then they're going to take the tight right hand turn to come through to complete the first of their laps. And this is where we get a real good indication. Look how long that line is. It's absolutely crazy. If you're at the back of that, you've got so much work to do to get up to the front. Blooms leads them through a one minute 50. It's going to be fast and furious. It's going to be a lot of laps as they make their way around here. So at the moment, Blooms, Avancini, Gaze, Schwarzbauer, Andreessen, Zanotti, followed by Hathley, Wawaka, Dubauer, Brandel. They're the top ten. However, it's changing once again. And Avancini just coming up on the side there. Definitely a rider who could well and truly make his mark here. Now, he took the win in the mountain bike marathon, which is the longest XC distance. This is the shortest one at the championship. It's the only thing in mountain bike that is shorter is the Eliminator, the World Eliminator Series taking place. And the next round actually coming up on Sunday. And that's a super short format. This is longer, but it's still the shortest here. It would be something if he could take the longest and the shortest at this mass or championships here. Just getting pushed back a little bit here as Sam Gaze comes up. Sam Gaze has been looking very, very strong in practice. And he's moved up from 20th place into position number one. Just taking a little bit of a look down through this field. Just uh, seeing if any of the other big favourites have managed to move too close to the front, trying to get that gap back down again. Andre Sinker dropping from the front row down into 18th place. It looks like a 100. 20th position at the moment, Cameron, all from the home nation from Great Britain in 21st. So Daniel Bredo dropping off that front row grid, going back to 22. And uh, it's going to be an 11 lap race. I suspect when they come through, it's going to be nine laps to go when they hit the line this time. 
So none let's go as it hit the line this time. Gaze goes through, takes a look across. He's going to be working out. He knows it's going to be about 20 minutes, but the ascent on this lap is going to be very telling indeed on the riders as they come round. And the approximate height gain on this is about 40 meters per lap on this circuit. It was originally 43, but changes to the course have uh, altered that. As you see, Dubao making a move. Schwartz power up on the side here. Uh, they all want to be in the front as they come in. This wide climbing section is your opportunity to overtake the moment that we go down in towards the twist and turns in towards the berms. Then it's going to string out here. You can see a big push on the side by Alan Hathley from South Africa in that gold and green. Just trying to make a move up on the, the riders right on our left. Big wide line there. Samasini just gets pushed off line a little bit here. Just trying to take a little look back, try and see where some of those big names are now as they come around. It's looking very interesting indeed out there as they uh, try and make their way back uh, down in the uh, best position. Sink just uh, dropping down off that front row start. So great drone shot off from the top, that berm. And you can just see a slightly darker line above that bright white line. That's where they are going around, actually running around the sun. It's starting to break up. It was breaking up in the early race, continued to deteriorate slightly. And the uh, wind still blowing. It's dropped a little bit. The flag's on site, just easing off a little. And it does mean that these riders are not going to get as much assistance down this straight. The speed these riders are going, it's going to be easier to sit in the drafts, hide behind the other riders on those long strokes and fast distance where they can. It takes a lot more power to move up down the outside to push on to try and make position. You've then got to slot in with the uh, group. So, as they come through this time around, now uh, at the end of lap number three, Sam Gates, Victor Koretsky up there, Lucas Schwartzbauer in third place, Simon Andres in fourth. They are on the riders still holding those top five. Litcher right in the mix as well. Thomas Litcher, another rider who we know can be right up there, a bronze medalist last time around. to the climb they come so as we look across at the riders you can just see that little bit of a easy off there just starting to come together and the riders on the front will be really conscious that they're going as fast as they can pick up just up on the right hand side so he's making his way up towards the front of the race he's in uh, 18th place as they crossed the line last time, just ahead of Christopher Blevins. Blevins, of course, a winner in the very first short track World Championships back in 2021. So he's a man who knows how to win, but I think uh, maybe not on that same form. But uh, Pickock definitely in the ascendancy and a rider who's very good at overtaking. If you watched him in cyclocross, if you watched him on the road, if you watched him in a mountain bike race, you'll know he has the skills to pay the bills and uh, definitely a rider who can make places where others seem to struggle just to hold on to their own so here we go Sam Gates just dropping down takes a look across he's wanted to know who's around him holding the race on the front gates really strong he's a rider that we know can put the power down he is a uh, very very often seen on the front and now you can see the gaps are starting to open at this consistent pace it's constantly going up we see a little dip we see a little bit of a rise we see that coming together as you go on the hill as the speed is scrubbed off the riders on the front the riders in the back coming into the back of the group as they come in and through so as they came through the line gay schwarzbauer andreas and koretsky leska coming through they're your top five next hadley and alvin behind Pitcock currently ninth of position from the home nation a big a big threat and I think he's one of the reasons why they're trying to keep the pace high to keep him off the back really interesting that uh, we've uh, lost uh, uh, Dupo from the mix up at the front here and uh, he's uh, riding in third place in the series you would expect him to be a little bit closer to the front at the moment but as they came through last time Victor Koreski looking very very strong on the left of France there So here we go. Now the gaps start to open. Now it's like that's Cameron Orr of Great Britain just trying to close the gap back down to those riders just in front. Just trying to pull on to the back. 
of the leading group here as they go up on the top of the hill to Balfing at the back uh, near the back of that uh, uh, good camera and Orr just chasing hard to get back in and uh, he's uh, leading the uh, chaser behind Anton Cooper is in the uh, mix in that same group as they came in through the line well, Peter Sagan for the Sagan fans out there. The last time he came through the line, 44th position is uh, where he's showing it on our screen. So Nods have made his way right to the front. But remember, he did start in 57th place. So he's got a bit of work to do to make that up. But so uh, great to see him out on the bike and enjoying himself. The former junior mountain bike world champion back in 2008. He's definitely a rider who has uh, the ability and the skills. He's certainly got the power. And I think he's, uh, if we can get back enjoying his riding, spent too much time on the road. Can't believe he just said that. Too much time on the road, definitely. I guess it was worth it for all those wins and taking all those green jerseys. A record on the road, but great team back on the mountain bike once again. I know a lot of people tune in to see just how he does. We've got people watching all around the world. If you are just joining us, where have you been? We are 10 minutes in nearly to the men's elite XCC. We have six laps to go on the board at the moment. That will go down to five laps to go as they come in through. So they're on lap six of 11. The race leaders have been pretty much there from the word go with Schwarzbach, who led off so strongly at the front. And this is really the attrition trying to break the riders behind, trying to just keep that pace high around this circuit. And the gaps really have started to open behind. Look at the dot to dot behind. That's not one continuous line. You need to get your felt pen out and uh, join those up. And they're not going to get back to the very easy pick up, making a move now. now on the right hand side, goes around the uh, side of there. Now went diving in to the corner, looking to make a move around. Uh, that's the uh, just inside of the uh, top five there. So, so they drop down Schwarzbauer, leading gaze in two. Behind, still aligned that leading group, continues to stretch this out. Here they come in around the crowds here. So Koreski in the three pick up, up to four in fifth place immediately behind him. You can see Slitcher, the man he just overtook. Pickock having the composure, takes hands off the uh, bars. He's definitely a threat here on what is a very punchy, fast course. His uh, background in mountain biking, circle cross, and in road going to uh, suit him. Very, very explosive a rider with no Matthew van der Poel. Now, maybe the uh, strongest, punchiest rider on the circuit, the man who's uh, uh, coming in as uh, one of the bigger threats. Not uh, able to take to the start. He was down on the start list, which means that there has to be a uh, medical exemption, I think, to take it out, if I've read the rules uh, correctly. And uh, that means that uh, maybe the uh, crash that he had in the road race on his way to race victory was enough to take him out. Now, big move on the right-hand side here. Big push. And you can just see it's about getting position here. Taking that inside line, taking the shortest line, get the smoothest line as well, so you're not having to expend excessive watch, you're not having to push through that. We've all ridden on fire, you know what it's like, you get a smooth section, and regular riders will do that. Going out onto the grass, that takes even more energy, and look at this, this is bad news, because we are seeing out of the race, Alan Sini, well, he was one of uh, the... Uh, Outside bets are for a top uh, placing here. We know he's got the ability to do it. He's got the power, but it's not to be uh, today. So I haven't seen him down in the pits. That is a loss. But uh, he has won a gold medal already from these championships. We'll see if he can uh, come back from that now. Just tucking on to the back of the group. Not like Anton Cooper, just uh, at the uh, back of that pack. Just coming down. In to these twists, into these uh, turns, he's uh, currently landing 90th place, well, it's 90th as he came across the line last time round. I'm just going to double check that on our screen, so just uh, flicking backwards and forwards, just going to make sure, yep, 19th uh, as he came through last time, but so uh, 9 seconds down on the uh, race leaders, which is not a huge amount as they come round. Lap times uh, still hovering around that 1.51.55 marker, so not slowing down particularly at the moment, it's only one or two seconds slower. 
So four left to go as the roads come in through the line. Koreski leads them through from Gates, from Lecher, from Schwarzbauer and Blooms. Then it's going to be Hathley, Sink, Peacock, along with Vinnie Carson, De Frogmont, Albin, Blevins and Shermans. But you can see the gaps start to open up behind Cooper at the uh, pretty much near the back of that uh, pack. That, so the road is coming through very quickly, but you've got to be up in this front group and pick up, just dropping that back there. He's in good company with Carsten, but of course, uh, looking at to do uh, something here in the mountain bike. Didn't ride the road race uh, and uh, chose to focus on the mountain bike. He's actually uh, been on that mountain bike World Cup uh, thing going uh, over, and uh, a rider who actually loves mountain biking once uh, had. Uh, uh, the uh, chance to ask him a war bike if he had one bike if you have to choose any one bike out of the entire set of bikes He's got the access to and on the teams. He had one bike for the uh, rest of the time That was the only thing he could ride. What would it be? And it was a downhill mountain bike That's what he said a uh, man who's more than capable of doing the uh, big uh, gap jumps and the road jumps down at Bike Park Wells uh, Gives you a good indication. He's uh, more than at home on the mountain bike as well now Cooper just looking uh, hovering they're just uh, moving up through the group are still looking good now as we start to run out of time we start to run out of laps we're at 14 and a half minutes we're on four laps go on the board it'll be three when they come through next time right it's got to be working out where they're going to make their move where are you going to go for this and where are you going to put the pressure on you can just see diving off the front there that was a really interesting maneuver just not wanting to be at the front taking the pace that was literally just de deliberately coming off doesn't want to be making the pace down this long straight he's going to let Schwarzbauer and uh, Gaze and Koretsky be the first three but he's dropped back into fourth position and look at the difference so your riders on the front looking around the riders just behind making sure that they get right on to the wheels a quick look across at the big screen there you can see the composure of Sam Gates who's just looking just as he comes underneath the gantry you can take a look to your left and look up at the big screen directly over the top of our podium stage here and he was looking to see what damage had been done how big is that group no need to look over your shoulder no need to look across the short tight corners and easier just to uh, watch it on the big screen here in the venue at Glentress. The crowd's really cheering them on. They're packed on the banking down on this sort of start finishing straight and all the way up this climb. Charles Bauer sat down, gaze out of the saddle. Big push from Hadley on the side. They're just trying to move himself back up in that position. It's a constant churn in this uh, group as they come round. I wouldn't want to uh, put my money on any of these riders at the moment. This is the first substantial gap. Just pushing on in to the gap. Oh, went to uh, Ulan uh, Batos Galinsky of uh, Brazil. He's the rider who's chasing at the moment. And he's got to make that gap back. He's got, he can't afford to uh, let that leading group get any further ahead. So it's like David Lewis just dropping towards the back of that group but from during that leading pack as they come down still a big group of riders and that is not what these riders want to see they've been going flat out now for 16 and a half minutes so it's a bit like playing poker out there they are all holding their cards pretty close to the chest. Nobody has gone for a full-on attack. And they are waiting and waiting and waiting. They're just relying on the high speed on those twists and turns. They go into the top first. It's just natural that the riders at the front get to ride their own pace. Everybody has to go into the single track, has to string out behind. They don't get the, to the choice on when the brake is going wide as they come into this climb. With two laps to go, this is coming towards its culmination. Who's going to go hard? Who's going to go early? Is anybody going to risk putting the move in now? It's just winding the pace up, getting faster and faster. So these riders coming through, they spent a little bit of time looking at each other that last lap through because they were hovering round about just under the two minute mark of 158, 159. I think it's going to be going to double check those that come through. 152, 159, the last lap 152 again. So just back down to that faster time. We expect uh, I'm hearing the commentary bus uh, for this to come right down on that last lap. But this is the group. 
and now we're waiting to see who is going to be looking to get into position who is going to try and get up there so hard to get away on this very long dead straight start finish straight Peacock just moves up on the side that goes around the corner of Koretsky just taking a little bit of a look back Cooper still looking ominous a little bit further behind him you can see that we have also got Christopher Blevins in here good to see Blevins looking so good back in with this uh, group maybe uh, not on the form that we were expecting not a rider who has been able to uh, have the season he wanted so far but uh, looking unlike uh, the very first of our champions right up and in the mix uh, along with Sam Gates the defending champion up on the front of the group another look behind him he's wondering is somebody going to put in a take somebody going to try and go down the other side of this long straight all the riders have to have their uh, necks on a swivel here they've got to take a look behind see what they can do see if there's a chance uh, that uh, somebody's going to try and jump them and again Gaze looks at that screen So 10 riders now ready in a contest as they come onto the hill as Blevins and it's, uh, Cooper left it too late now. Big move coming there, winding up. Gaze is trying to hold them off on the way up here. He doesn't want to get this uh, and get overtaken. He'll want to lead them into that single track. So he's got the spot. He can race from the front. Now he puts another rep in out of the sun. You can see kicking, throwing that bike across. He's got a couple of bike legs here. He's opened the gap on Schwartzbauer and Schwartzbauer can't respond here. He can't get back to him at the moment. And Gaze is starting to ride away from them on this climb. Gaze at the moment is looking to do the double. He's looking to take this away. Can he defend this all the way to the line? He's got the gap and it's Koretsky, the man who's near it. He's the man most likely to challenge, but now queued up behind. Can they pull him back? Just watching Martin Blues just drop down here just but Gaze goes wide around there to keep it tight in that left hand. You see the amount of speed the riders have to scrub off to go around that tight left, dropping down onto the slightly older section of Burst. But Gaze it is who has the elite He's going to give it absolutely everything. He's starting to empty that tank. When you come out of the turns, he takes a look behind, sees how much room he's got. Surely Sam Gaze is going to do the double here. Koreski's going to try and charge on him. Peacock's doing a move on the inner side of there. Is Schwarzbauer and down goes Schwarzbauer. Schwarzbauer's gone and hit the floor. He's going to be the run for the line. He's going to be about the push. It's turn to be Sam Gaze. He gets in the sprint from Koreski. Victor Koreski has not got that back. It's going to a boat to finish while well, the commissaire is going to be looking at that as well there was a very tight uh, corner coming around into the finish there but that was an absolutely uh, master class in how to use your power from Sam Gaze he just went on the front he owned the throttles nobody else was in the same league as him I think he had two more cylinders than anybody else in there going up that climb and then he kept command of the race. The rest of these riders come streaming back in. But what a race. Now, unofficially, it is Gaze, Koretsky, Pickock, Hathley, Finney, Carsten, Blums in that order in the uh, top six. And then it is uh, Kuel, Litcher, Schwartz, Bauer, Cooper uh, going through in the top ten. But this is unofficial at the moment. Gaze thinks he's got it. I think he's got it. I'm sure most of the crowd here think he's got it. The uh, applause rings out as these riders continue in uh, through over the uh, line. Just uh, seeing uh, come in uh, through there, uh, Ricky uh, Katabayashi uh, come through from Japan. But look at the state of the riders. Just imagine going out and sprinting non-stop around every corner of your favourite mountain bike track. Time and time again. For 20 minutes, absolutely flat out. 20 minutes, 27 seconds, the winning time in Gaze. I'm rightfully uh, delighted. So fantastic ride from Sam Gaze. So here's the run down into the finish. Sam Gaze, and this is the corner. This is where they're going to look closely. That pickup runs wide, and there's nowhere 
for Schwartz about to go. He's right off in the uh, grass in the debris in the, the traces of uh, the uh, side. And uh, you can just see he went down the mantle leading the overall series or went down, hit the floor. It left the uh, race uh, clear. Gaze had got enough. Koreski not quite able to make it and absolutely frustrated with himself that he maybe hadn't gone just slightly earlier. Is that line have been another few meters? Gaze may well have been caught out there, but uh, definitely not the case. As they came through, their reactions say it all. So uh, we are going to see uh, some uh, gaze on the uh, podium uh, up on the top step. Your race or win, your champion in uh, the mountain bike uh, cross country short track. What a ride by Gaze. I told you it was very often he was outside the top five or ten on the way around there and playing in an absolutely blistering run to the line.